So it's that time again. Time, that is, to pop down to North Devon again and catch up with Mandy and Carlton and see how their ICF new build house is coming on. shield deck which has been glued and screwed. Um, the cable shield has a waterproof coating on top of it which you may not be able to see quite from here but it's a BBA approved board and it's um, approved for 60 days exposure to the weather so if it gets rained on it doesn't matter which is probably just as well because we've got rain forecast overnight tonight and as you might be able to tell, it's pretty windy up here again today, so I think it's blowing that storm in as we speak. This is a 24 meter boom pump, and it's all set up, and the concrete's just arrived from Hansons, and we're getting ready to pour the concrete into the first floor walls and into the gable walls, gable end walls as well. The guys are up on the scaffolding and Hanson's lorry is just setting up out the front. The pump lorry is priming the pump and they'll start pouring concrete soon. The end of week 11 and last week was another busy week on site. Monday morning we had the concrete pump lorry which should have been here the Friday before but broke down. He came in on Monday morning first thing, set up on site and Hanson's concrete came in and they started pumping concrete into these first floor walls and that's due to the end walls. Wednesday we were meant to have steels lifted in for this ridge beam up here and the rest of the steels upstairs over there on the balcony. Um, unfortunately the crane lorry that we had in was too short so we had to send him away but we got another crane, high ab crane back on site Thursday morning first thing and by just after nine he'd craned all of the steels in and they were fixed in position and ready for the roof to start going on. Um, we're quite pleased to have all the steels in now. There have been quite a few issues with the steels. The horizontal steels have been too long, the vertical steels have been too short, and the ones with plates on the end, the plates haven't been welded on square. So the guys have had all sorts of issues to deal with, but they have dealt with them and they've been very proactive in dealing with all the problems and they've just got on with it and all of the steels are now in. So that's a huge thanks to all the guys for doing that. On uh, Friday we had the timber for the roof delivered and they've started to put that on now. As you can see down through here, there's quite a lot of precision precision cutting involved in that and um, they've notched out the new Jura and started to secure the timber in place. Also last week they put up some more stud walls downstairs and they cleared out all of the props against these walls so now we get a better perspective on how much space there is downstairs. They've got this large access tower too which is to help them access up to that ridge and secure timbers up there and next week it will be a case of carrying on with these roof timbers and our aim is to get the house watertight as quickly as possible and hopefully it will be in the dry before everything has to shut down if that's the way it's going to go with this virus but who knows. 
So that's the end of the video for this week and 